Hi there, this is the second video on my little Lima shunting engine. It owes me nothing, I've had it a long time and I think I got it second hand. So it's done very well. The problem was, in my first video I tried to put new, well, put extensions on the brushes to make them work, but it didn't really happen. Seemed to be okay, but then when I got it back together it was very intermittent. I've since learnt that I could use a pencil lead as a, for brushes and just cut them to the right length and if I'd have used those, well no, it wouldn't have made any difference. But the reason it failed, I think, was this. This is the commutator part of it. Can we see this? If we come in on this, uh, hopefully we can see that round where the brushes go here, here and here, then the copper is moved away and broken away so that the brush didn't contact both sides at the same time. One brush over here and the other brush here. And that, because it's pitted or eroded away, is the reason I don't think it would go. I could try having a go at making another one of these, but I doubt I'd be able to do these very fine wires. Where's it gone there? These wires are very fine, they're soldered on, and I don't think I could be able to do that, not with my shaky hands. Also on the top, what I tried to do was to stick on sticky back plastic, uh, and use super glue for it but as soon as I tried soldering on the sticky back plastic it melted and came away sticky back copper should I say so we failed there with that this is sticky back copper you may have come across it uh, mine isn't very sticky because it's very old but what the heck it was worth a try but I failed so how did the engine go back together? Well, what we have is the body of the engine. It has two big heavy weights that go in. One at that end and one at this end. Which end there, one there, one there. So that's one in and that's the other in. And then that between them has a slot so that the motor itself can slot in between the two weights. The motor itself fastens onto this base plate here so that uh, it has the screws and then that will fasten on there and screws on when it's been assembled. So that's the base plate there. This part then He's got a gear on it. I can't see how they've put that gear on. But that then goes on to the end of the commutator. Which is over here. So here's our commutator again. Uh, with its coil of wire and its metal part. And on the end, don't know if we can see or not. There's the pinion. This very small pinion that goes on it. It actually goes into a metal bush, which is quite good. So that feeds into there. And should just bob through and connect with the wheel or the gear here. And if I turn the commutator, hopefully, where is it there? We can see the gear moving. The back then has... Uh, goes on that would go on to there doesn't fit very well because of my soldering and of course I've cut away a section of this so we can see the commutator uh, that's that part then then we need some little gear wheels to go oops it's fallen off never mind put two gear wheels to go see if I can get these on they go on shafts that are just underneath the, the 
big gear with its pinion on the back and they then once they're on their shaft once they're on their shaft must be there somewhere they fit onto a shaft there and hopefully will turn when they're on the shaft they're turned by this pinion at the back of this gear wheel so we could put both of those on what we need to look at let next or what I should have done before actually is when the back's on that's held on by these two clips here these have got springs on them then so these are the springs which push against the brushes so we need to get it the right way around get the spring to push against the brush that then goes on to here just clips on there's a little clip that clips it on and that then holds the two parts together we have another one here but this has actually got a capacitor on it presumably to reduce sparking I haven't tested it but it could be that that capacitor's gone and that's why I've got the burning on my commutator or maybe it's just because it's old and the brushes had worn down I was certainly getting a lot of sparking on it you could see sparking on it so that obviously wasn't good and probably the reason it failed once we've got that back together and we put our little gear wheels on the other side on their little shafts don't know if I can get one of those on again took a long time before sometimes they just bob on and other times they're really difficult to put on so now I've got that on the wheel that what I need to do next is to put my pieces of uh, shim in the other things that make the contacts with the wheels so one of them goes at this side quite a bad design I think is this because when this goes on here it comes up underneath that connector there just contact not soldered or anything but when this is in place there's a little peg for it to go on to if I can find it goes on a little peg and then is held underneath the bracket comes across a bit somehow there's the little peg goes on the little peg but this is bad in a way because if this was right I've got it the wrong way around if it was the right way around it must go so the little arms push outwards and if I put that onto its little peg then these two arms here push against the wheels the problem with that is that they tend to push the wheels off the shafts because these wheels of course have only got plastic on them so they're insulated from their brothers at the other side or sisters whatever so that would come through the wheel would go on and touch against that contact there and what I have missed out at the moment is the contact that goes to the other side so this contact goes on the bottom like so comes up the side and contacts against this piece here which is holding them together so that the current can come from the wheels through this through this connector here through the spring and onto the brush you can see the spring is very bent as I've tried to get them to work better yeah so that would be it if I could get those back together again and then put it back into the engine itself but not really worth it unfortunately I can't see any way to repair this as I say I could make a new disc for the commutator but the wires are just so small and I wouldn't know how to fasten it onto the shaft I've tried gluing that one on but unfortunately even though I've tried gluing it on the disc is still actually this in here 
course it's held in it's difficult to pull out because of the magnets that we have here and here and these strips then presumably have something to do with the magnetic field so yeah there's those very tiny wires and then this copper bit here actually twists even though I've tried mustn't move it too far because it'll break the wires not I suppose that it matters uh, but how to fasten it on I've tried super glue it hasn't really worked and it still moves so I can't see the thing working properly ever again so unfortunately it's RIP to my little shunting engine it's done me proud but it's time time for what I don't know the great bin in the sky or something like that so it's bye now Bye.